In Maurice Conda's novel, Crossing the Mangrove, a Caribbean village in Guadeloupe gathers for the funeral of a mysterious man named Francis Sancher. Despite the enigmatic nature of the plot, the book does not follow the conventional mystery genre, as many questions remain unanswered. The story revolves around the morning speeches delivered by various villagers during an all-night wake held for Sancher. Each chapter represents a different villager's perspective, recounting their encounters with Sancher and the profound impact he had on their lives and the community. These accounts range from affectionate and desperate, despite the short duration of Sancher's visit, to resentful, bitter, and malicious. Through these varied narratives, readers gradually piece together a fragmented portrait of Francis Sancher, as well as a more comprehensive depiction of Guadeloupe, an island burdened by economic struggles, racial tensions, and the lingering effects of colonialism that have left deep marks on its inhabitants. Among the characters who share their stories is Mose, a mixed-race porter of both African and Chinese descent, who forms a close bond with Sancher upon his arrival. However, when Sancher rejects Mose, rumors circulate that they had a homosexual relationship, leading to bitterness on Mose's part. Additionally, Sancher has fathered children with two local girls during his short stay, and both of them are present at his wake. In Crossing the Mangrove by Maurice Condé, the funeral gathering for Francis Sancher includes several key individuals who share their connection to him. One of them is Mira, a striking, fair-skinned woman who has given birth to Sancher's child. Another is Vilma, an Indian woman who is pregnant with Sancher's baby and longs to honor his death by participating in a funeral pyre, following the traditions of her ancestors. Vilma's parents, Myra's stepmother, and various other villagers, including Mama Sun Sun, a wise and clairvoyant woman, are also present, offering their perspectives on Sancher's visit to the island. Through these accounts, we gain a glimpse into the character of Francis Sancher. Born on the island but absent for many years, he returns as a middle-aged, handsome man who has traveled extensively. The villagers are uncertain about his occupation, speculating that he could be a doctor or even a drug dealer due to his apparent wealth. However, Sancher doesn't derive any pleasure from his material possessions. Instead, he has come back to the island because he believes his family is cursed to die suddenly and unexpectedly at the age of 50. Seeking to witness the fulfillment of this curse, Sancher has chosen his birthplace as his final resting place. His almost eager anticipation of death perplexes those around him. Knowing his impending fate, Sancher keeps his distance from the community, forming no deep bonds. Even his interactions with the two women he sleeps with and impregnates are fleeting and devoid of emotional attachment. Sancher's aloofness and detachment from others contribute to the island's existing issues and tensions which are brought to the forefront by his presence. Overall, the collective narratives shed light on the complex character of Francis Sancher and highlight the pre-existing challenges and conflicts on the island of Guadeloupe. In Crossing the Mangrove by Maurice Condé, the presence of Francis Sancher exacerbates the racial tensions between the dark-skinned and light-skinned inhabitants of Guadeloupe. Additionally, a similar divide exists between the French-French, representing the colonial villagers, and their Haitian counterparts. The French villagers are perceived as affluent and arrogant, while the Haitians are marginalized and devalued. The island undergoes economic changes, particularly the transition from sugar to banana plantations, resulting in a significant decline in the earning potential for the local population. While the mystery surrounding Sancher's life remains unsolved, the novel offers valuable insights into life on the island of Guadeloupe. Maurice Condé, a renowned French Caribbean author, is celebrated for her exceptional literary works, including the acclaimed novel Sigu. She possesses extensive knowledge of Francophone literature and holds a professorship at Columbia University in New York. Born in Pointe Petra, Guadeloupe, Condé frequently sets her stories on the island of her upbringing. Composed in French, her novels have been translated into numerous languages, receiving international recognition with honors such as the Guggenheim Fellowship, Latin America, and Caribbean Literature Award, and nominations for the Man Booker International Prize, among other notable accolades. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.